Brandon, did you drop what you're doing right now and come with me? Max, I'm working. The world of LED lighting depends on this. If we don't fix this, we don't figure this out, I might lose my job. You're gonna need this. Let's go. Let's go. Brandon, you're the only one I trust to see these. I don't know where I went wrong. What happened here? Brandon, I need the answers. This can't get out. I, I might mean, lose my job. I mean, were you using non-amaran lighting for these? Yes. Well, then the solution is pretty simple. It's a big problem with an easy solution. If you just- It use, can't be that simple. It really is. If you just use some higher quality LED lighting, I think you're gonna be finding that all your problems go away. But instead of just telling you that, why don't I show you, okay? So today we'll do some experiments so I can show you and you why accuracy in LED lighting matters so much. So we can actually compare some existing light sources against our new series of Amaran COBS lights so I can show you how high quality accurate LED lighting can improve the quality of your images. You're saying we can fix this? Yes, we can fix this. Let's go save your job. Please. So when we're talking about an LED's color accuracy, what we're generally referring to is the fixture's ability to reproduce the color spectrum or the color qualities of another light, like skin tones, for example. When LEDs first came into the photo, video, and lighting scene, they shifted really green, they had really low CRI, and that basically meant that they looked really off. They couldn't reproduce a subject's skin tones properly, and they couldn't match daylight or tungsten sources, which is really important. We made a pledge to have our CRI and TLCI scores always 95 and above. But with our new technology, we're even striving to improve our SSI scores. Okay, okay, and I've done a lot of research and my brain is about to explode. There are so many different acronyms I feel like I have to know. Where do we start? What, what does SSI mean? SSI stands for Spectral Similarity Index, which is an advanced metric that was created by the Academy of Motion Picture Arts and Sciences. Yes, the same academy that votes on the Oscars. Oh, okay, that's a fun fact. So this advanced metric allows you to determine how closely two lights match each other. So with this information and a proper color spectrometer, we can actually determine how close an LED matches to an existing light fixture like daylight or tungsten. SSI is really pretty easy to read because it's just a scale of zero to 100 with 100 being an absolute perfect match. So 80 and above is really, really good. And 90 and above, excellent. Oh, okay. If I'm using a cheap light and I'm looking back at my footage and it just looks off, I can fix it in post, right? That's kind of a tricky question, so why don't we run some tests so we can take one of your cheap lights like you mentioned from somewhere like Amazon and our new Amaran 200XS light and see how they stack up against each other. All right, well, uh, let's get testing. Sounds good. So for this test, we took our cheap light and our Amaran 200XS and compared them against each other on a color chart, as well as against tungsten and 3200 Kelvin on our spectrometer. Looking at this, I can tell the 200XS is super color accurate. Would you say it could beat some of the industry leading lights we see in film? Exactly. The new Amaran 200XS and the rest of the COBS series uses a new LED chip technology that allows it to bump up the SSI score throughout the entire color temperature range, which means it blows away this cheap LED and even able to outmatch other high-end lights in the film industry. It has a tungsten SSI of 90 or 91. And that means it's almost indistinguishable from a real tungsten source. Exactly, it's excellent. Okay, I get it now. Now I love this testing method, but I have a better idea for our next test. What's that? Follow me. Max, where are you going? Max? Where did he go? What the heck? Max! 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 What are you doing? What the heck? Enough of your theories, Brandon. It's time to work with the actual sun. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to compare the 200XS to our Los Angeles sunlight behind us. Okay, I respect that. So right now, Brandon, I've got that 200X hitting Austin, but in the short period of time that we transitioned over here, the light's already changed. But what's cool is I've got that 200X on side this link over here. So why don't you tell me exactly what color temperature I should dial it into? There's a bunch of clouds that just rolled right in front of the sun. So from measuring the color temperature of the sun right now, it's coming in at about 6,600 Kelvin. Okay, so I can kind of adjust the 200X. I can go all the way from 2,700 Kelvin up to 6,500. So we're at 6,500 now. I've got the camera synced up too at 6,500 Kelvin as well. So everything's matching. 
And it looks like there's a pretty smooth transition between the color temperatures on oh, yeah. Austin's face. Oh yeah, 100%. So if I'm measuring the SSI of the 200XS compared to sunlight right now, I'm getting, compared to that LA sun, um, an SSI score of 89, and compared to just D6600 Kelvin, I'm getting an 88. So it's supposed to be matching super well. Now, what other kind of tests can we do with this light? There's plenty of other tests we can do. So why don't we just go inside instead of being outdoors and we can get that done. Okay. But you set up the camera. Okay, Max, so for this test, I wanna see if you can tell the difference between an actual tungsten Fresnel and our own Amaran 200XS light set to tungsten. But here's the trick. I'm not gonna tell you which of these two lights is which. You're gonna have to use your own eyes and powers of deduction to tell me that yourself. All right, but if I get this right, you owe me lunch. Okay, fine, fine. You get this right, I'll buy you some sushi. Heck yeah. Start now and you have uh, 10 seconds. Oh, that's not a lot of time. Um, so this side looks, it has a little bit of a yellow tinge to it. Um, the shadows over there look a little bit different. It seems a little more neutral here on the side. My gut's saying that that's the LED, this one on the right, L light number two. Looks like you have been doing your research because that is right. Light number two is the Amaran 200XS LED and yes. light number one is the actual tungsten Fresnel. But like you said, they're really similar and actually pretty hard to tell apart. And I can show you that Spectrally, they're also really hard to tell apart because their SSI is really high. And what's our goal with that test specifically? If I take an SSI reading of this Amaran 200XS, the tungsten SSI for the standard that's built into the spectrometer is an SSI score of 91. Whoa. But if I compare it directly to that light over there, which is slightly different from the standard tungsten source, the SSI score is 92. This is to show that the Amaran 200XS has a really high tungsten SSI score, so that means it performs really well in comparison to tungsten, but also, that it matches this light almost exactly. What we're saying, right, based off all these tests so far today, is that the 200XS has super high SSI scores. It's pretty much indistinguishable from daylight and tungsten. That's exactly right. Okay, cool. Well, I have one more idea for a test with that cheap LED. Just give me a minute, all right? Okay. So we're in the editing bay now. I have three shots here that I shot with three different key lights. We okay. have a tungsten source, we have the cheap LED, and we have the Amaran 200XS. Now, okay. I wanna see if you can tell the difference in which is which, and if you can choose the correct one, that's the cheap LED. And you have 15 seconds, so time starts now. Okay, I guess I deserve this. Um, three images, one, two, three. Well, this is, this is harder and easier than I thought. Right, 10 seconds. It's easier in that the one that's the cheap LED is pretty obvious, but I cannot oh, tell right, the yeah. difference between the Amaran light and the tungsten light. All right, so which one's the cheap LED? Um, I think that's number two because it looks the most different from one in three. All right, well, time's up. You are correct about the cheap LED is the one that looks the most different. Mm -hmm. Between shot one and three, what would you guess is the tungsten source? What would you guess is the Amaran light? I know they're so close. If I had to guess, I would guess pretty blindly. Um, and I would say that maybe, just maybe, it's number one because it looks slightly more yellow and the waveform looks slightly different, but I, that's a blind guess. Yeah, that's correct though, that's correct. Okay. So, I mean, you just have that trained eye. <laughs> These shots are so close. Tell me about how that works in a post-production workflow when you're mixing lights and things like that. Well, the fact that these lights perform nearly identically when shot through this diffusion means that I could easily replace the tungsten light with the 200XS or I could have them work together pretty seamlessly. They would both work super well and the audience would never be able to tell that you switched lights, which is a benefit of having lights that match, which is what SSI as an index is meant to do. It's meant to tell you how lights match together. So. That goes for any light across the board. You're gonna have a lot easier of a time using high SSI lights because you can do a lot more with that color information. But if you use lights that have lower quality, lower SSIs, and just lower CRIs in general, you're gonna start to lose some of that data, some of the information. So when you start to really aggressively tweak your color grade, your image is gonna start to fall apart. It's mm, amazing. I learned a lot today. If you guys have any questions, let us know down in the comments. Let me know if we missed anything at all. And let us know if you wanna see Brandon again soon. Brandon, what are your closing thoughts? The 200XS and the rest of the CVS series light is a great step forward for Amran in delivering super high SSI, super high quality, super high spectrum LED lighting that surpasses a lot of the high end lights that you'll find in the industry, even aperture lights. Really? Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Well, Thank you so much for coming on today, and we'll see you guys soon. 
so it's able to blow away this elder Ellie cheap. <laughs> Sorry, you got like the most difficult stuff to yeah. say. <laughs> 